Jesus, you're alive in me. Yeah, you give me life. You're here to stay. You're with me every day. You make it feel like, feel like it's Christmas every day. Jesus, I'm yours forever. God, you're with me every day. Every day, Jesus, I'm yours forever. God, you're with me every day. Come on, come on, let's celebrate. Christmas every day. My neighbor, Mrs. Reyes, can't see very well. She has the cutest dog who helps her go places. But her dog can't help her decorate for Christmas. So, here's the plan. Mrs. Reyes takes a nap every day from 2 to 4 p.m. So I am going to surprise her by decorating her house for her. All by myself. Mrs. Reyes gave my parents an extra key to her home in case there's an emergency. So, I'm going to ask them to help me get inside. I wrote my plan out right here on these pieces of paper. I have it all written down, and now it's time to make it happen. Operation Cali Surprise Decorations for Mrs. Reyes is underway. Uh-oh, I've hit a snack, friends. A big one. I don't have enough lights to make this plan work. My dad is using most of our lights for our house. What am I going to do? You know who always has extra lights at Christmas time? My friend Chip! But my plan was to do it all myself. Hmm. Well, maybe just asking Chip for lights won't change the plan that much. I'll be right back. Awesome, Chip! Thanks so much for bringing all those lights! Just put them down right here. There! Perfect! My pleasure! Do you need help hanging them? I think it's great you're helping Mrs. Reyes! She's so cool! Can I help? Can I? Can I? Can I? Um... Well, my plan was to do it myself, but... Sure! Great! Let's do this! Callie, you and I aren't tall enough to reach all the places you want to hang the lights! You know who's tall enough? Our friend Scarlet! I'll go get her! No! Wait! Ugh, things aren't going the way I planned at all. I'm gonna go and try to catch Chip while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 1. Zachariah was a priest. Priests were in charge of what happened in the temple. 
which was the special place people went to spend time with God. Being a priest, just like any job, came with certain things you had to do. One was burning incense in the temple. Incense is kind of like really good-smelling candles. Back then, people burned incense when they prayed to God. It was Zachariah's turn to do this when he got quite a surprise. An angel of God named Gabriel appeared before him. Zachariah was scared stiff, but Gabriel told him not to be afraid because he had good news. You see, Zachariah and his wife were very good people who obeyed God. But one thing that made them sad was that they didn't have any children. Gabriel told Zachariah that this was about to change. Very soon, Zachariah's wife, Elizabeth, was going to have a baby, and the baby's name would be John. The angel also said that John would do amazing things for God. When John grew up, he was going to tell people that the Savior of the world was on the way and everyone should get ready. Zachariah couldn't believe it. Really, he didn't believe it. How could he be sure something like this could happen to him and his wife? After all, they were way too old to be having a baby. Gabriel told Zachariah that this good news came directly from God. And now, to show that God would keep this promise, Zachariah would not be able to speak until everything the angel said had come true. And sure enough, Elizabeth did have a baby. And when the baby was born, Zachariah wrote down the name, John, so everyone would know that was the baby's name. The moment he wrote it down, he was able to talk again. Now he knew for sure that everything God told him through the angel Gabriel was true. That meant that his son really would grow up to help people get ready to meet the Savior. And you know who that Savior is? It's Jesus. Jesus is God's plan. Hey, Callie, where does this big tree go? Chip, where do you think it would look good? Right over there. Sounds perfect. My plan didn't exactly work out the way I wanted. Instead, it went better. That Bible story reminded me that God's plan is always better than the ones we come up with. Jesus is God's plan. And maybe God's plan is that I don't decorate Mrs. Reyes' house by myself, but to get help from family and friends. We can make all the plans we want, but we always have to make room for God's plans for us, too. Operation Kelly. Uh, uh, um, um. <laughs> All right, Operation Callie and Chip's surprise decorations for Mrs. Reyes is underway. <gasps> Phew, I gotta work on a shorter name for this secret mission. Let's jump and dance around in the city of angels. The shiny lights hung up on the trees Helping friends along in the city of angels Growing from the lessons God has for me It's all done! Thanks, everyone! Mrs. Reyes woke up from her nap and was so surprised! She really loves it! She said even though she can't see the decorations that well, she can feel that they are there, and it makes her smile. Isn't that amazing? She invited us all in for Christmas cookies. That's it, friends. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Remember, Jesus is God's plan. Yeah!